there! We're talking about fertilizer and compost. If you're looking for an easy, all-natural fertilizer, you can use my recipe. Now I will say, I can't guarantee that this is going to work perfectly for you, but you can adjust the recipe based off of your soil's needs, and I hope that that creates amazing results. Start with adding two to three bananas per 40 pound bag of topsoil. The bananas add potassium to your soil. Pineapple is the next ingredient. Pineapple encourages a small amount of microbial growth. When those microorganisms are present in your soil, it encourages aeration. Now, I only use about half of the pineapple when I add it to my mixture. That way, I keep control over how much sugar is added to the soil and I don't over encourage the growth. Finally, I add fish to my soil. Now, I use about one pound of fish per 40 pound bag of topsoil. Fish adds nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus to your soil. You're gonna add all of your organic ingredients to the same mixture. You want it to combine it until it becomes a slurry that is similar to the consistency of applesauce. You can do this in a blender or you can grind by hand. Add water as needed. Once blended, you can add it to your, ba your bag of topsoil. Make sure that everything is one homogenized mixture before adding it to your garden beds. When storing your fertilizer, make sure to keep it in a bucket with a couple of holes poked through the top. And there you have it, there's your fertilizer. Next, we'll talk about compost. Compost is a little bit different from fertilizer because fertilizer is there to help improve the overall health of your plants, while compost is there to improve the overall health of your soil. Compost can be made using kitchen scraps and soil, and you can even add in a few earthworms in order to make the process speed up a little bit. You can use a high-tech worm factory, or you can compost in a bucket like I'm about to show you how to do. The first thing you're going to do is fill up your bucket a quarter of the way with soil. Next, you'll add your kitchen scraps about that same amount. Layer your scraps in your bucket with your soil and then mix them. Once mixed, you can add about a pound of earthworms to your mixture. Once you've added everything in, you're gonna place the top back on your bucket and make sure that there are holes in the top of your bucket so that there will be enough air going through. You can set your composting bucket right next to your garden space so that it has the same temperature around it before it goes onto your garden bed. Again, the use of earthworms will help to speed this process up a little bit. So if you're just now getting started and getting ready to use compost before your gardening season, this is a quick way to get started. Thanks!